in the last tutorial we saw list and redis in this tutorial we will be looking into sets data type okay to create any sets we'll use set command okay and we'll pass key and the members for the sets suppose we have java okay you can see one member is added we can add multiple members we can add redis we can add multiple members node.js aws okay this way we can add multiple members as well to list out all the members we have s members command and we need to pass key so you can see that it will list all the members available inside the technology set the main advantage of set is if you know from other technologies or other languages as well sets will store all the unique values if you are trying to add the values which is already been there in the key then it won't affect that suppose if you are trying to add java again then it, there won't be a duplication for that it will be always the single you can see it's returning zero so it's been not added to the set so that's the advantage how it will work so all the values will be unique respective we saw in list there may be duplicates as well to get the count of members available inside your sets you can use s card command and you need to pass the key okay you can see that it will return four you have four members available inside your technology set now to check if any of the member is available inside your set or not for that you hit command sys member s is member or not s is member then you need to pass key that is technology and you need to pass the member which member you are trying to search suppose java so it is returning one that means the member is available if you try anything else like spring then it will return zero because it is not available inside your set currently we have node.js aws redis and java inside my technology set let's create one more set front end okay for front end technologies and let's add some of the members i'll add javascript HTML, add node, JS, maybe React. Okay, so these are the members that I'm adding in my front end list. You can see by as members, and you need to provide front end. You can see that these are the variables available into my front end. So currently we have two sets that is one for technology and one is front end. To find the difference between those two sets, we have as diff command. And we need to pass the key technology and the other key is front end. So this will return the differences available within the two keys. So if you can see that with sdiff command, it will check from the first key to the other key. So it will check what is the difference. Okay. So Node.js, it will check Node.js is available inside my front end. Okay, it's available. So it will, it will be neglected. Other things it will check. AWS is not available. Redis is not available, Java also not available. So these are the differences that is not matching to my second key, that is front end. So these are the list which will be printed out. Now if I want to store this data inside any of the set, for that what I can do is s diff store command, then I need to give destination. Suppose new set, okay, then I need to pass the key technology and front end so what i'm doing is i want to store the difference from technology and front end which is this which we got at redis java and aws to be stored inside my new set key okay previously we just displayed it this we can do to store the data okay the three elements has been stored inside my new set if you do as members for new set you can see that three values are available the same way we can check for the intersection elements as well so s enter and you need to provide key 1 and key 2 or many keys which is available so if you can see if i have s enter technology i'm passing and i'm passing front end okay so you can see that the intersection element from both the list we have node.js so node.js is the common element for both the sets so it's been giving that value we can provide multiple keys as well so if i provide technology over here front end over here and we have a new set as well right so we'll provide new set okay so this will 
return the data which is been common to all so you can see that there is no common data which is available in all the list so it is returning empty list now the same way which we store difference data right as diff store the same way we have as inter store to store the differences of the data into a new list so new inter is my destination and my key is technology and front end is my key too so you can see that the data is been stored into a new list sorry new set s members new inter you can see that node.js has been added to it let's clear it out now let's list out all the members again right as, as members technology and as members front end now we saw the difference of the list intersection of the list and the union of the list we will see so s union is the command to get the union of the two or multiple list okay sorry multiple sets so for that we are providing s union and we need to provide key so that is technology and we are providing front end okay you can see that we are getting the data which has been union so all the data has been added we can provide multiple keys as well we have technology we have front end we have new set we have new inter okay so all will be merged up together and the union will be displayed to store all the union data we have s union store and we can store in union to destination let new union and we can provide multiple keys let's add all these keys right and the new union seven elements has been added to new union set we can see all the members over here so this way we can do multiple operations on set we did difference operations we did union intersections we added the elements we removed the elements and multiple things okay so that's been it it sets the next tutorial we will see sorted sets